everybody. Getting ready to do lesson chapter five, a review and summary of pre-calculus math homework part one. And our part one homework uh, for chapter five review and summary has got 71 points to your homework sheet, students. So you should have your homework sheet in front of you. Let's go over it together. Page one of your homework will be named a trigonometric function that is equivalent to these expressions here. And then put your expression in these response boxes here. This page is worth 20 points for this page here. If you need more room, then you should attach a sheet. This is your answer sheet. This is what I run through my answer uh, app. So if you have more work, I can take a look at that with your phone, send it in. Or if you're in my classroom, then you can provide hard copy of that extra sheet. And then uh, page two of your homework, use the given values to evaluate the remaining trigonometric functions of the angle here. So the remaining trig functions, you got a sine and cosine, the remaining functions put here with these uh, exact values here for each one of these uh, functions here. Page two, there's 12 points here. Page three, same thing with these uh, exact values here for each one of these uh, uh, function expressions. Uh, provide the other trig functions of the angle here that you have these stipulations up here page 3, 12 points for page 3, and then page 4, use of fundamental identities to simplify the expression, simplify these expressions, use the table feature of your graphing calculator to check your result numerically, so to simplify the expression, simplify these over in these response boxes here, this is 9 points here for page 4, page 5, Use fundamental identities to simplify the expression. Simplify your expressions here. Use your table feature of your graphing calculator to um, check yourself on that before you enter in your response boxes here. Page six, same thing. Six points here. And then page seven, uh, use fundamental identities to simplify the expression. Same thing here, and then you have a uh, word problem here. And then these are, put your responses here, and the rate of change of the function f of x equals uh, 2 times radical sine x is given by the sine of uh, the negative of <clears throat> 1 half x cosine x. Show that the rate of change can also be written as cotan x sine x, radical sine x. And this is six points here for page seven. So that's your part one homework for uh, chapter five, review and summary homework part one, pre-calculus math. If you need solution PowerPoints, contact me here for those. If you need tutoring or other class worksheets, email me for those as well, or video or PowerPoints. Thank you very much.